I had always wanted to take a helicopter tour, and I thought Kauai was just the place. Located inside the Harbor Mall, you'll find Blue Hawaiian helicopters. Just for a point of clarification, there are no helicopters in the mall. You meet in this location and go through a briefing. You then board a bus, and they drive you to a nearby airport. Where there, lo and behold, you will find helicopters. In Kauai, Blue Hawaiian flies the EcoStar helicopter, which is the Rolls Royce of touring helicopters. The pilots are highly certified and they are top notch tour guides. After they wash the windows and get everybody strapped in, the helicopter slowly lifts off and begins a slow turn. Moments later, we gained altitude and banked sharply. I absolutely loved it. It was way better than any thrill ride I've ever been on. And on thrill rides, you don't get views like this. All I could say is, wow, but wow didn't exactly cover what I was looking at. The views were absolutely breathtaking. And although I did my best, photography does not do the scenery justice. My wife is, shall we say, uncomfortable with heights, but her desire to see these incredible views were much stronger than her fears. Flying this close to the cliffs in Waimea Canyon was incredible. You would have to be a highly experienced climber to see some of the places that we flew over. And even then, it would take you days to hike in. One of the great things about flying in the EcoStar is all of the different windows that you could see through, like this window at my feet. I had always heard about how beautiful the Nepali coastline is. There's only two ways to view the Nepali coastline. One is by water, and the tour boats can be a bit crowded. The other is by air, and I'm sorry, but you just don't get views like this from the water. Where the mountains meet the sea, there is an explosion of colors. The only word I can use to describe these sights is awesome. It truly did fill me with a sense of awe. And seeing the coral reefs from this altitude was magnificent. This is Ka Beach, otherwise known as Tunnels. And the following day, I actually got to do some snorkeling down there. It was interesting to swim in an area that I'd seen so clearly from above. Filming inside the helicopter is very challenging. There is a constant vibration from the rotors in the engine, and you do get occasional shifts and bumps as the aircraft moves along. I was very happy that we had such a bright sunny day, but it did create a lot of glare looking out the windows. But as I stated earlier, photography does not do this scenery justice. These mountaintops are among some of the wettest places on earth. But after flying through a couple of rain clouds, we soon found blue skies and green grass once again. This was an hour long tour, but honestly, I could have stayed up there all day. Our pilot Vincent was great. He was a fantastic tour guide, very informative, and very entertaining, and I felt safe the entire time. The entire Blue Hawaiian staff and crew were professional and courteous. At the end of our tour, we had the opportunity to purchase a DVD of our adventure, but I would love the opportunity to take this adventure again.